Hello, hello, hello. It's a nice Sunday. And um, this is part four. Wow, part four. From Nelson J. Diaz. The Unified Field Theory in a stick drawing. So, as promised, we were going to go through our journey and take it to um, go through the book and somewhat, obviously I'm not giving away the contents of that book because that would be completely theft and um, people don't value what they don't pay for in terms of uh, you know, knowledge. So I, I, I would think that serious inquiries into this book would be a purchase available on Amazon.com. Now, Art, science, artists, scientists, they need funds. <laughs> I, I would know, being a musician, when you have a dream, you can't make your dream come true unless you have support and um, a fan base, students, someone who takes this stuff seriously. And will, um, you know, what what is this knowledge for? Well, it should be applied in our everyday life. So why am I studying this? Well, for one thing, a lot of the stuff, and I will admit I have come to a place where I got stuck. Um, and where, where I'm at this, you know, this space is, um, for example, non-Euclidean geometry, how it started. Well, I now realize that some of the study in this book, I'm going to have to, um, you know, look through some YouTubes and some books and other other uh, sources, and try to find out, you know, if if if, it, if it's citing non-Euclidean geometry. So what is Euclidean? So we need to go and find out what that is. You know, um, uh, try to understand. It. But what I have come across and what I have um, seen very plainly is these diagrams, where you have. Obviously, you can use your imagination um, what, what this is pointing to in a spherical kind of, uh, you know, seeing things, you know, painting is, is one thing, but this guy's paintings is not that. It's based on, you're, you're looking through this and your eyes and your sight, um, your imagination is going to see it like a computer. It's going to be like unfolding, like, you know, three-dimensional, two-dimensional, four-dimensional um, kind of like if uh, if we were to say uh, uh, you know about the, uh, the shape of the planets and the spinning of these planets the uh, spherical shape has to do with the movement um, you know look at the, the the earth from space obviously it appears to be what it is but all all the uh, gases waters clouds Earth, us, everything is on this 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 planet, and I'm thinking that um, this is from seeing it from the point of maybe how the Creator would see all this, you know, and being the Creator of, of these things, and um, looking into a box and seeing stuff as as it really appears. So I wanted to do something with the music a little more. Um, ethereal and more reflective quiet um, this is a ukulele I usually play an oud in these presentations I wanted to use a ukulele also to show that this doesn't sound like what I was doing would be played on a ukulele so we're breaking through into another realm here's the vehicle what what was that okay what was that? Obviously, we're taking um, different steps into different places, you know, traveling. Um, what comes to mind is the, the word or the phrase armchair traveler. These books is like taking a journey, um, going someplace where you've never been. Um, on the other hand, other people can go to places 
and never see anything. Never see anything new. Never go and experience anything. So there's a lot to be said about an armchair traveler. Um, the, one of the things I wanted to uh, go back on was uh, there was a there was a these musical staffs and these were rhythms these were something that was um, clearly to be a a, a, a a map you know something that was going to be a map of that's much better <laughs> okay so This is figure 10 in this book. A musical staff with a measure of a half note, triplets, and how they are tied underneath with eighth note triplets. This rhythmic pattern is reflective to electromagnetism and photon behavior in a quantum wavelength. Hmm. So everyone's participating in this. Everyone is participating in the science. Um, it's all around us, it's everywhere. Um, but it would be great to understand it and have it and give it a name. So from a more um, artistic point of view, a place where uh, you know trying to understand this, uh, this science and where it goes, um, I will admit, I'm going to have to reread this, this part a few times before it sinks in. There's a lot of things in here that um, need to be understood. And for me to try to explain it to someone, I myself have to understand it. But what this is, is the journey. This is a, 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 a proposal for a journey. Um, this figure on the bottom here fascinates me to no end. Because it reminds me of the early 80s and those science fiction movies, sci-fi from the 80s, where you would see this uh, computer screens and how they would try to um, show some kind of figure of, of what the universe is. And of late, I've been seeing a lot of things from these telescopes where it's galaxies and universes that it's never ending it's just it boggles the mind and um, what to say of what's inside our brain which could if you took it apart all the neutrons and stuff and stretched them out blah, 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 they would go for infinity so they say um, another thing seems to be is the uh, the world of dreaming. I, I would imagine that once we start to get closer to this, to this art, to this music, to this uh, stick drawing, our dreams would be, you know, not interrupted, but influenced. Um, Dreaming on a, a, a much different level. So creativity brings us to this place where we um, open ourselves up to new information. And even the information that you've been living in. And to say it simply, there was a, 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 an old story of a, of a baby fish going up to the mother fish and uh, saying, the other fish told me that I need water. I have to be in water. Where is this water? And the mother fish sighs and says, You're already in it. You're already in it. The elephant in the dark. <laughs>